All right, like, click, subscribe, do all that. You already know what time it is. It is Netflix time. This series is called High Rise Invasion. Yeah, I'm on my anime shit today. We getting it pop. Just came out a couple of weeks ago. Season one contains 12 episodes, 25 minutes apiece. And you know, I'm just going to go over episode one entitled, I Just Don't Get This World. Transported to the top of a skyscraper. Yuri desperately tries to evade a mass killer. But her escape routes are limited. So right off the back, it puts you all in the tone of what to expect. You see some masked guy over here just murking somebody, giving niggas the business. And then all of a sudden, we have this girl named Yuri. She's talking to her brother named Rika. Why does her brother have a girl's name? I have no idea. Like, Rika? Really? And Yuri actually kind of sounds like a guy's name. So it's like, role reversal? Like, what the fuck? So anyway, she explains like one minute she's in high school, the next minute she's on the top of a freaking skyscraper. And I'm thinking her brother's been here for a while because he's telling her the rules and considering her like, yeah, we're in a whole different world. He tells her each skyscraper has these guys in masks or whatever, or girls in masks. But their intention is not to kill you. But instead, they want you to make the choice of committing suicide. And he explains to her that the high rises have bridges that you can cross over to. But before he can finish even explaining, she gets attacked and her phone gets crushed. And he tosses it like yesterday's garbage. And another thing, they have to go across these bridges because these high-rise buildings don't have any stairs and the elevators don't work. Or they're like completely blocked off or something. But even if they did work, you wouldn't have time to get there because somebody's trying to either kill you with a mask on or something like that. So she makes it across the bridge, but then so does this fat guy with the mask on. So they think to herself, oh man, our main character about to be dead as shit. But then a police officer comes and saves the day. And then there's another one right behind him. So, you know, she's feeling safe for the moment because she's not all alone anymore. But as the cop that's checking on the guy that died over the edge, this motherfucker pushes him over the edge. And now this motherfucker about to be on some shit. Turns out the guy he killed was a supervisor and he just wanted to kill him for the hell of it. I'm like, what the fuck? So then he basically tries to take advantage of Yuri and makes her strip and all this other stuff. But then we see this sniper all the way from the other side of the building. He banged off on the police officer. I'm like, oh shit. Now, I'm guessing if we're still considering the rules, he didn't kill him on purpose because he's not supposed to... Kill people, they gotta make them commit suicide and stuff like that. But then he shot him again, and I'm like, oh, he's really dead as shit this time. So as she's hiding, she just burnt this corpse. I'm like, where the fuck did she find matches from? But anyway. Then on another high-rise building across from her, you got this crazy-looking chick with a mask on. And I don't know if she's got super agility or not, but she runs and jumps from one building to the other. Basically saying, fuck the bridge, I got hops, nigga. What's good? So now they face-to-face, -face. she's got her pickaxe, and Yuri's got the gun that she took off the cop. They battle it out and she shoots her, but she shoots her mask. Then she actually starts talking to her and they're saying that she's telling her that the masks are pretty much controlling their every movement. So Yuri thought the people in masks were robots the whole time. Turns out they actually are human. How the fuck she was able to jump from one building to the next is anybody's guess. So now that she has some part of her sanity left, she basically committed suicide to keep from killing Yuri. So now Yuri's determined to get through this alive and hopefully find her brother. She goes across her under a bridge, almost dies. Meanwhile, this masked sniper is watching from a distance the whole time. She makes it across into this building. She finds some lady shot up, so apparently the, the next masked person must have a gun. She finds a note in her pocket, something about a rescue helicopter. A helicopter she saw when crossing the bridge. Mr. Sniper made it to the same building. So apparently this helicopter can only rescue one person at a time. So I'm guessing whoever's in there is going to fight their way tooth and claw and nail to get to this helicopter. She hears somebody crying for help trying to get getting shot at. But the person doing the shooting doesn't have a mask on. What the heck is going on here? She's about to shoot another man without the mask. And that's the pilot episode for you. Like some G'd up fire, we gonna see what's good with it. High Rise Invasion on Netflix. Check it out. Like, click, subscribe, do all that you are. Know what time it is. Sleek DZ all DZ, mister. Yeah. Oh, big. You got it. Slogan.